everybody and their brother and their mother give the advice to find a niche and niche down for success with Etsy and print on demand. But how do you find those niches? How do you find what niches to design for? How do you know if they're in demand? How do you even know where to begin? These are all the questions that I had as a beginner trying to start a print on demand business and sell my products on Etsy. So in this video, I wanted to show you how to do that niche research, how to find the niches that are selling, the products that are selling, all of the things that you need to know to successfully start and scale your print on demand business. My name is Taylor and my channel is focused on all things Etsy and print on demand. If those are two things that interest you, I hope that you will boop that subscribe button down below. Here on my channel, I share my journey with my my Etsy and print on demand business, as well as share the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. A little story about my journey. When I first started my Etsy and print on demand business, for one, I had learned about print on demand through a random TikTok that I saw. It was just one of those random TikToks that say, oh, here's how you make money online, work from home, quit your job, make thousands. And normally those types of TikToks that you see, I'm a little skeptical of, but this one caught my attention for some reason. And so I decided to impulsively buy an iPad and start my own Etsy and print on demand business. I've scaled to over $85,000 in revenue in just under a year. And a lot of that success comes from doing my research and following the strategies that I'm going to share with you today and how I found niches and products to design for. Since my starting phase with just my iPad, I have had a little bit of a glow up as you can see. And now I actually have a computer, which has been super helpful because what we're going to be using in this video is Everbee, which if you weren't familiar is a Chrome extension. It goes right into your browser and Everbee helps to provide search volume and analytics for all of the different things that we are going to be seeing during during our research phase. I currently have a special offer for anybody who is new to Everbee or hasn't tried Everbee and has been wanting to try Everbee. You can get unlimited access to their growth plan for two months for the price of one. The growth plan is what I use and share features on in tons of my videos. Everbee has really become a key component in my research process. I really can't recommend it enough. If you are a current Everbee user on their hobby or pro plan, you can also utilize this discount to upgrade your current current subscription. So the link for that will be in the description as well as the pinned comment down below. You do have to utilize that link in order to get the discount. Now this approach can be customized, tailored to whatever product you are selling in your shop. So if you are in apparel, print on demand business, this will work for apparel. If you are a mug, print on demand business, this will work for mugs. It'll work for whatever product type you are going to just want to replace whatever product type I type in with your chosen product type. But the steps are all the same. The process is all the same. Generally, how I like to start my research is I want to start with a more broad search. I want to get a lot of information, a lot of data in front of me. So in this example, I'm going to utilize mug as my product type. So to start, I'm going to just type in mugs in the Etsy search bar. Even if you don't utilize Everbee, what Etsy is going to do is generate a ton of different search phrases for you. These search phrases are still data that you can use. These are commonly searched phrases currently on Etsy. With Everbee, I will be able to see the search volume next to them. That is where I find Everbee to be a bit more helpful and just validating what I'm looking at. It is going to tell me those monthly searches, which when it comes to really seeing success on Etsy, there needs to be search volume behind what you're listing. If nobody's searching for what you have, nobody's going to find it. You're not going to make any sales. So we want that high search volume. I'm going to just start by clicking into mug we could see that that had over 3,000 searches currently. I am going to go over to the left here, which is where I have Everbee, and click product analytics. What this is going to do is bring up all of the product analytics for every listing that's on that first page of Etsy search. However, I want to see more than just that. I want to see the entire database. So I'm going to click search entire database, and I'm going to filter the monthly revenue so that the highest selling product is at the top, and we can filter our way down through. What we can see this very top listing. This is a groomsmen gift. Now I'm going to actually click into this listing. This is more of like a beer mug, but we can pull inspiration from this. And that's what I would encourage you to do as you're looking at different listings on Etsy. What I can see from this and what I would pull from this is that groomsmen gifts are in demand. This is a bestseller. 
This is something that is getting over 20,000 sales. We can see that again by analyzing the listing. This is generating over $23,000 in revenue every single month. That tells me that groomsmen gifts may be a fantastic niche to design for. I could bring that to many product types. If that is mugs for you, you could create groomsmen gift mugs. You could bring this specific niche to multiple different product types. So back in our product analytics, I like to just skim through. I just generally try to look for things that I feel are print on demand because that's going to be more in line with what I'm able to create, what I'm able to do. So here's a really great example. This mug is generating over $16,000 in revenue currently each month. It is a boyfriend Valentine's Day gift. Ooh la la. This is funny. You are the best thing I've ever found on the internet. With this listing, something that I also like to make a note of with Everbee, I love to see the tags that others are using for their listings, which we can do here. We can see the search volume for all of these phrases that they're using, as well as the competition. That's important because we want to try to target keywords that are higher in search, but maybe lower in competition. For example, a great keyword that I see there using is boyfriend valentines and boyfriend gift. These have significantly lower competition compared to these other keywords that are in the millions while still having really great search volume. So those are two keywords that I may want to pull from these tags and use in a potential listing if I wanted to target the boyfriend gift niche. This is my process. I'm going to just keep scrolling through these results and look for any specific products that stick out to me. Here's another one. This is a Mother's Day gift type mug. If we view it on Etsy, this actually looks like it's from the same shop. Again, funny quote on a mug. Something I love about mugs is a lot of the designs for mugs are usually just simple text-based designs like this. So if you feel like you struggle with designing, mugs may be a great product type for you because all they typically need is just a funny phrase, something that makes people smile or laugh, and they sell really well. Now, since this is the same shop that we've seen twice, I'm actually going to click into their shop. They've had over 500,000 sales. The shop is doing very well. And just like we did the product analytics for Etsy search, we can actually do that for this Etsy shop as well. I'm going to click analyze all listings so that I can see every single listing that this shop is doing and see what is bringing in the most revenue. And holy moly, this product, this is a charcuterie board charcuterie board. How do you say it? Do you say it with like the hard CH, the charcuterie, or is it charcuterie? This is generating over $70,000 in revenue. Now I'm not hundred percent sure if this is something that we could replicate with print on demand, but it is definitely something that we could pull inspiration from as far as the keywords and maybe even the niche. So this is targeting newlyweds, engagement gift, bridal shower gift. They may be great keywords that we could pull from and bring into a listing that we are looking to create. So I hope this is starting to make sense of how I can start pulling inspiration for niches from what is already selling, whether it matches the product type that I'm looking to sell or not. Oftentimes I find it's actually even better to find niches that are selling really well on a different product type because you may find that you have even more more success by bringing that niche to a new product type because nobody else has done so yet. So sometimes that can actually give you a little bit more of a competitive advantage. Here is a listing that is actually a Set. This is a mommy and daddy mug set. This is something I would say is a bit more specific of a niche and the more specific oftentimes the better because it's usually a little bit less saturated. Pulling inspiration from this, this is something that you could absolutely do with print on demand and selling a set like this has a different value to your potential customer. It may be more appealing and selling these as a set set like this is absolutely doable with print on demand. If you are interested in a tutorial on how to do something like this, leave a comment down below. Is that something I could make in the future if you were interested in? That is my process. It really is that simple. Everything that you need to know can be found directly on Etsy. Don't forget to click the link down below so that you can get two months of Everbee's growth plan for the price of one and boop the like button if you found value in this video. I hope that you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening wherever you are in the world and I will see you in the next one.